Okay, don't have the mic. Carroll Gardens, Brooklyn. Yo, yo, RBI. RBI, uh, let me know how the audio is. I do not have my uh, external microphone live at Luke Collie's, guys. Lawrence, welcome, Lawrence. Happy Thursday. Lawrence, I had some issues with the basement. But after seeing what I saw on the Staten Island Advance, I should not complain. I had maybe two inches of water, which I vacuumed out in like an hour. Hope you guys did well in the storm as well and didn't face any issues. Uh, luckily, I live on top of a hill in Eltonville. And so my house is, you know, on an incline on top of a slope. So I got lucky. I'm lucky. Glad to hear it, RBI. I know you're out in the Bronx, right? You guys hear me fine. I don't have my mic. It should be fine, but it's a little windy out. So, And we're in Brooklyn, and it's pretty damn noisy. So <laughs> let's hope uh, the audio won't be an issue today because this one's going to be a good one, guys. I have high hopes for this stream. Monumental day today, guys. I just tasted the pizza there across the street at baby luke's oh really lawrence yeah it definitely you know i i realize how important that is living on a hill <laughs> especially recently Wind is picking up, so it may muffle. Smash that like, old school. Paisano. Nice hearing from you, old school. Monumental day today. We're at Baby Luke's. Baby Luke Collie's here, Carroll Gardens, Brooklyn. Points. The place is packed. I only waited in line for about five minutes. It's very packed, beautiful outdoor patio. The place looks like his original joint, Lucali, with the green awning. I did review the pizza. I reviewed it 10 minutes ago. It's not without its issues, guys. It's not without its issues. Uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, I've had worse pizza. Here's a place I may visit later, grab a bagel, Brooklyn Bread, Bagel Bar Cafe. Oh, there's music playing. <laughs> there's music playing. <laughs> Let's wait for some people to uh, join and uh, we'll get rolling. We're going to go inside. We're going to sit in there. We're going to do everything. We're going to sample the pizza. I'm going to buy a slice, eat it live, not review it. I already reviewed it. Save the reviews for the pre-recorded videos, guys. Uh, there was a lot to say. There was a lot to say regarding the pizza served over here at Baby Luke's. Yes, a lot to say. A lot of people didn't, RBI, I, including me. Somebody messaged me on Instagram and told me to come here. And I waited 
he opened up a while ago, a couple weeks, I think, maybe two weeks. I waited because I heard the lines were out the freaking door and down the block. And I heard that they were closing two hours after opening. So they opened kind of, uh, it was kind of like a soft opening. Because they open up at five o'clock, just like Lucali. They open up at five o'clock, just like, you know, the, the original place. And they close at like 11 or 10. But eventually, Mark Iacono said that this place will open up at 11 in the morning. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. I, RBI, the pizza has issues. The ingredients were great. It just wasn't cooked the way I like it. If that makes sense. You'll see it in the review. I had a lot to say about it. A lot to say about this pizza. The review should be up in two days. Uh, I'll talk about it, of course, but... Uh, stay tuned for the number. <laughs> And I'm going to eat it online, guys. I'm alive, so I'm going to order a slice and uh, taste it. I don't know if it's going to make it, RBI. I, I think it is. Hey, he's got the name going for him. I just think the staff needs to be uh, looked after. I think Mark Iacono needs to go and uh, visit this place and stay in there and uh, supervise some things because... Uh, I don't know if those kids know what they're doing in there. You know? A lot of young kids cooking the pizza. <laughs> hey, Ma, just get the work. Well, there's a lot of outdoor dining. And, uh, no, they weren't enforcing VAX cards. Nobody asked me for anything. There's like four tables inside. Most of the tables are outside. Hey, Eddie. Shout out to Eddie. $20 super chat. Thanks, Eddie. I really appreciate it. Nice to see you, buddy. Special day today. We're christening baby Luke's. I just christened baby Luke's. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, I was concerned. I may, I, I, I would have uh, drove into. I was going to drive into a lake of water somewhere along the road on the way here, but. Uh, Driving here was a breeze. There was less traffic than usual today, too. Everybody's recuperating. Eddie, how's it going, man? Baby Lucali. Everybody, thank Eddie for that 20 bucks. Eddie, thanks a lot, buddy. Always appreciate you, man. Yeah, Sandy. I hear you, Sandy. We're going to wait 10 minutes, another minute or so, till a uh, couple people join in. I put the uh, notification on my YouTube saying I'd go live at 6.30, but I went live 6 o'clock, so maybe some people uh, are going to be late to this party. But we're going to go and sample some of this pizza, but before I do, all is well, Eddie, I hope... I hope you made out okay with the storm. If, if you live on the East Coast, I don't I don't remember where you live. I think you're from New York. Uh, I, I did okay, I, considering what I saw on the on the news. I lucked out. You know what? 
Lucali's two blocks away. Let's just go take a look at Lucali. And we'll come back and take a look at the beautiful, charming streets of Carroll Gardens, Brooklyn. I love this place. Old school, we got slammed with a month's worth of rain in just six hours. An entire month's worth of rain in six hours. I had two inches of water in my I vacuumed it out in less than an hour, it was no problem. Uh, just my, my, my basement pump could not handle it. I could not handle all that water. RBI, look at this beauty. Look at these beautiful buildings. These are the brownstones of Carroll Gardens. The beautiful brownstones. Man, I wish I lived here. Look at these wrought iron gates. Old iron fences. This is what my father did for a living, guys. He made wrought iron fences. And most of the time we worked in Brooklyn. Most of all our iron was constructed here in Brooklyn. Look at this beautiful place. Nice doorway, beautiful lanterns. I know, Sandy, the, I wish, I mean, old mother nature should share that stuff, man. We're getting pounded here, two tropical storms in a week go check out my recent review i did a, a dim sum review uh food crawl i drove out to manhattan in that storm last week but which was not near but i filmed that uh i filmed a lot of that that dim sum video uh, during henry during uh, the tropical storm henry last week which was pretty bad but compared to yesterday. Forget it. Oh, cool, Sandy. Guys, let me know how the audio is. It's windy. And I don't have my mic. I left my mic home. Like an idiot. I was so pissed. Inside the car, I was fine when I did the review. But outside here, the wind, if the wind picks up, we may have some audio issues. But, uh... You're gonna see everything, that's for sure. Look at this gorgeous behemoth across the street. Andiamo! <laughs> RBI. Okay, Venice Beach, uh, Eddie. Oh, Virginia Beach, Virginia Beach. Yeah, it, that freaking storm was huge. It reached, it was, I think Washington got hit all the way from Washington up to Maine. All of Connecticut got slammed, Massachusetts. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Walking. Yeah, if you I found today. Two hours. Yes, old school. That's what my father did for a living. He made iron fences. And I did it for years as well. What up, Solo? What up, play it? We're in Carroll Gardens. We're going to Lucali. Did I pass Hicks Street, Henry Street? Yes, it is.
Guys, check out my shirt, man. Old school, this is for you, man. This is this is for this is for everybody. Peace, love, pizza. Yeah, Eddie, it was so refreshing yesterday. From like 78 degrees to about 62 degrees. Indeed, it was freezing out. No air conditioner last night. I turned it on. It started to get hot around nine o'clock in the morning. Come stai? Ciao, Frank Gallo. Da dove sei? Sono in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. At two, dove sei? We're on our way to some great pizzerias, guys. We're going to check out Lucali, a legendary establishment here in New York. Brooklyn, New York, not exactly the oldest pizzeria, but it has established quite a name for itself since it first opened. Uh, I, I loved it. I love it. I feel like taking home a pie tonight. I'm not going to lie. Michael Green. Welcome, Michael. You're welcome, Michael. My pleasure. Oh, so you're from Florida. Did you guys, uh, you guys get your share of storms. Uh, you know what it's like. We got hit with a baby yesterday, a big baby. Guys, here we have Lucali. <clears throat> oh, cool, cool taste. Look forward to checking out your channel after the stream is over. Guys, Lucali's booming. Lucali is booming. As usual. What's up, New York? Sandy, we got slammed, Sandy. I should have changed the title to the stream and, and, and uh, mentioned the uh, aftermath, post-storm aftermath talk. Damn, Solo. I can't imagine what that's like. I mean, we, we get our share of them in New York, but they're usually very minor. Not minor. No hurricane is minor, guys. A category one is still a category one. It does damage. But compared to those, uh, compared to Louisiana, I mean, Louisiana got completely decimated. And it was really sad to sad to see it <clears throat> hey this comment not sponsored nice to see you in the live stream buddy love your comments love your comments pal love this pizzeria look how beautiful that pizzeria is no no sign it reminds me of a place that you will you would see in a a, a piazza in Rome. <clears throat> yeah, Lawrence, I heard Trenton, right? Trenton? <clears throat> yeah, he keeps that car nice. He just leaves it there. That car's parked there all day, all year long. All year long. <clears throat> Beautiful Impala, nice classic. Guys, everybody seems to be enjoying themselves at Luke Holly. What's up, Sal? Hello, Sal. Say hi to your grandmother, Sal. Welcome to the stream, pal. Got a good one here today. I need a glass of water to clear my throat. Love that barber shop next to it too. Yes, I have, Frank. Lombardi's absolutely. 
I've been there twice. Solo, let me tell you a story. Last time I ate at Lucali, right? The last time I ate there, somebody walked in and gave me 10 bucks for a slice. <clears throat> I would not do that, Solo. I would pay them. Not 10 bucks, though. Not for a slice. Hell no. But somebody did. John? Oh. Oh, okay. You mean the owner? Uh, the owner? <clears throat> I gave his uh, pizza a very good score. Uh, but his clam pie recently, not so much. Different oven now. <clears throat> I'm going to place this down and grab a drink. Yeah, he's like, can I, can I have a slice? Here's 10 bucks. <laughs> I was like, take it. It's just one slice. I had the whole pie in front of me. I wasn't gonna go hung go home hungry because I gave up a slice. <clears throat> wow, Lawrence. <laughs> that is crazy. <clears throat> Guys, let's just stroll through. What do you say we just stroll right through? The diner is over here at Lucali, folks. Guys, stay tuned. I am going to be eating a slice of Baby Luke's live on air. Oh, it's gorgeous in there, guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to ask you if I can get the inside, film the inside. I love cats. Takes me three days to finish that sandwich. <clears throat> RBI, my man. Everybody, thank RBI for the $10 super chat. RBI, one of my biggest supporters. RBI, dude, seriously. Appreciate it, man. I'm glad you're enjoying this, by the way. That's the main thing. You guys getting your money's worth. Let me ask if I could get the inside. Hi. Um, I'm live on YouTube. They wanted to see the inside. Okay. <laughs> She said no. She didn't. She didn't want to be on cam. She didn't care about the interior, but she. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't get it. But, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is, folks. You know what? Let me go back the other way. We'll go up a different block than the one we came up. We're gonna head back to Baby Luke's. Check it out over there. Maybe see some sights. Go take a look at the uh, the cityscape by the promenade. And uh, I also want to show everybody some carriage houses. Oh wow, that calzone looked fabulous. Noah, Noah eats. Shout out, Noah eats. One of my favorite food vloggers, Noah Eats, ladies and gentlemen, go check him out. The guy reviews some pretty good food and pizza. Noah, 
Noah, I'm doing baby Luke's today, Noah. Noah, you're gonna you're gonna like this one. Uh, I'm gonna sample a slice of baby Luke's, which is uh, Lucali, the Lucali Slice Shop, down up the street here, just two blocks away. Steven, hold on to your napkins, baby. That is going to happen. That is going to happen. I don't do reviews live, but I will taste pizza live. Two baby Luke's less than an hour ago. Somebody threw out some coffee uh, machines, some hockey sticks. Guys, if anybody plays hockey or has kids that play hockey, come on down to First Street here on, in Carroll Garden. Somebody threw out a bunch of uh, hockey sticks. Solo, the place just opened. It did very well on the one by that. Go check out the one by app. People are giving it eights. Lawrence. <laughs> I got to go back there, man, and review that pie. Next time, if I go to the San Gennaro Feast, which I plan on, I want to stop by there and uh, say hello. And then order a pizza. Oh, look at that Vespa. Look at this beauty. St. Paul's Church. This is amazing. Yeah, so look. Solo, it did well on the one bite, right? Yeah, only nine reviews. Guys, check YouTube for me. I that would be nice. Katani. of the I thought this was a <laughs> I thought it was a church it's not a church Frank have you tried Lombardi's recently why did he close the call oven I'd like to know why did he shut down the coal oven? <clears throat> Solo, stay tuned for my review, my man. Or my girl. Or my lady. <laughs> stay tuned. The review, my review, will be up in a couple of days. Maybe tomorrow. If I get to work on the video and chop it up and... Not spend too much time on social media and work my ass off like I should be. <laughs> RBI, is it breaking up? Guys, is the internet connection breaking up or is it the audio that's choppy? Let me know. I forgot my mic at home. All right, we're, we're practically, uh... <laughs> Walk, man. Vlog man. Those kids were like, Vlog man. How is the connection, guys? Little bit, little bit. Usually it notifies me. 
It could be the area, guys. It could just be a one of those uh, one of those spots. You know what I mean? I may have entered a twilight zone. Glad to hear it, RBI. Look at these beautiful buildings, guys. Check them out. Okay, guys, so you saw Lucali, and now look how close baby Luke's is. It's basically two blocks away. Hey, John, welcome, John Christofik. And now you got baby Luke's. Very packed. Not nearly as packed as it was when it first opened. But still very packed, guys. What do you say we stroll through it? It is, it is solo, it is. Absolutely. It's a beautiful place, just like the, uh, the original. The original is way prettier inside, that's for sure. But I like their, I like his patio. Let me show you the patio. He's got a beautiful outdoor seating area. You got this here on the street. I'm whistling because of the music, guys. <laughs> Let's get away from the, uh, the speaker and we'll take a look at the place from in here. This is the patio, nice outdoor seating area. Hell yeah, I love that, no sign. I'll get there, K-pop. Guys, this place is mob. Dinner time, Thursday. Mob. Everybody wants to try Baby Lucali. I love the name of the place too, by the way. Baby Luke's. <laughs> and he does have signs on his... Uh, he does have a sign on the... Uh, A wooden patio here hot and delicious yeah this place is gorgeous it's almost as pretty as the other place i think the other place inside is probably the prettiest pizzeria i've ever been inside I've ever been in uh, it's beautiful in there and he keeps at the original lucali he keeps the place I mean, he keeps his ingredients on display. So you'll see a pile of cheese, peppers, mushrooms. You'll see all his ingredients right there near the oven. It's, it's amazing. Hey, D, welcome, D. Welcome aboard. It's a shame they're playing music in there, but uh, we did get a look. We did get a look. I also want to check out this place. Guys, if it, when it dies down a little later, I'm going to have a seat and uh, I'm going to show you the pizza. You are welcome, D. You are welcome. That's no brick oven. That looks like a Pizza Master oven or at least an electric oven got the letter board menu 
Yes, it is, D. It is indeed owned, co-owned, I believe, co-owned by Mark. At least he's not camera shy. <laughs> the lady at Lucali was like, you can't come in with that. They're a little friendlier here at Baby Luke's. <laughs> D, uh, everybody's been saying that. Uh, there, there were there were a couple of articles written in the paper, in the papers. A couple articles written in the papers, uh, but uh, it's open. It's possible that I am the first to review it on YouTube. That's a strong possibility. I think he, he co-owns it, right? I think he owns it. There's another guy that he partnered with, I think. You know, you know I, I mentioned this in the review. This was Mark's original intention, guys. His original intention with Lucali was to make it a slice shop, but he said it was too small inside. Let's cross the street. Let me show you this other place, guys. Brooklyn bread. And look at this place, guys. Coffee, beer, and cheese. That's right. Coffee, beer, and cheese. Not beer. Beer. Look at this old building. What's up, Sal? How you doing? Where's this going? YouTube. Oh, it is? Yeah. Everything or edited? No, it's actually live. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I do. That's what I do. I, uh, I go in the restaurants and advertise, and my videos get 30,000 views a month. What's your name? My name? What's Antonio. Side? What's up? Anthony. No, it's the site, the YouTube. Oh, my YouTube site. Pizza reviews on the go. That guy owns Brooklyn Bread. That was the owner of Brooklyn Bread. He wanted him to know. He wanted me to shout him out. Yes, RBI. It's a slice shop. It's a slice shop. Hi. The owner asked me. Uh, he's got a beautiful car. He must do must do well. The owner asked me that I shout out his place, Brooklyn Bread. He owns this joint. That was the owner. Cool guy. Really cool guy. Gorgeous place. It's got neon signs inside. Nice sign in the front. I think there's music playing inside, so I... Uh, I don't want to go in and risk a copyright claim. Yeah. I could always mute the music after. But uh, it's pretty much a bagel shop. Bagel bar and cafe. Wow, Lawrence. That's good to know. A lot of cream cheese, smoked locks there in the, in the, uh, in, in the showcase huge menu look at the menu that's a big menu and they even have baked salmon they have kippered salmon which is pretty rare for a deli usually you get the smoked lox and you don't see the kippered salmon or the baked salmon unless you go to those popular joints out in manhattan like uh russian daughters russian daughters and barney greengrass RBI, I left my mic home today. And that's something I always think about doing. Just unplug it, you know? Unfortunately, uh... I don't have it. I left it home. I was so pissed. <laughs> you did, I, I didn't notice, D. 
Maybe it's just the way she looks. <laughs> Maybe it's just the way she looks. I don't know, man. Carol Gardens, uh, people out here don't like to uh, be on cam. D, it is. So is Russian Daughters. Is Barney Greengrass more expensive? I know Greengrass is closer to Harlem, right? It's uptown. I've never been there, to be honest. I've been to... I've been to... Uh, uh, Russian Daughters a billion times. Is it? Wow. Solo, really? People got a lot of money here in Carroll Gardens. They could be a bit snobbish. The more money, more snobbish. <laughs> more money, more snobbish. Oh, look at this charming little place. What do we got here? I love these places with no signs. If I see a place without a sign, I walk right in. I march to it. I run to it. Really, Sal? Sesame cookies, huh? Angelo, what's up, Angelo? I am going to be sampling Baby Lucali, which we just passed up the street. Angelo, you, you can always watch this stream on replay after I end it. We're currently live. And uh, we're going to tour Carroll Gardens. We're going to go past by Lucali again and hopefully be able to walk inside without being pushed away. <laughs> really, Sal? So, yeah, stay tuned, Angela. Stay tuned, folks. I'm going to be eating baby Lucali live on the air for the first time on YouTube. The place just opened two weeks ago. Wanted to get a look at this gorgeous antique shop, which I probably will photograph later. Yeah, RBI, absolutely. RBI, I noticed you found my other, my photography site. Yeah, I love photography, especially street photography. Pest control. And that barbershop too, RBI. Look at that barbershop. Old barbershop. Joe's barbershop. My sign. It seems like people here are not used to vloggers or the gimbal. The kids before were shouting, that guy's vlogging, look, the vlogger. <laughs> people are turning away from the camera. Holy cow, what's going on? You would think a place like this is used to cameras. A beautiful neighborhood like this, such as Carroll Gardens. Speaking of beautiful guys, thanks RBI. Glad you like the photos. I should advertise it on the uh, on my other channel, on my YouTube channel. Guys, check out this liquor store. How long's that place been there for? A couple of years. A couple of years. Guys, let's go take a look at this pizzeria down the street, and then we're gonna we're gonna head uptown, maybe look at some carriage houses, go by Lucali again, and then the grand finale, folks. A live tasting of baby Lucali's. By the way, he only sells Sicilians. For those of you who don't know, they only sell Sicilian pizza at Baby Luke's, which was shocking to me. I, I was like, really? It's pretty cool. 
Speaking of cool, check out these slice tables, guys. All right, Sal, you know you do. You know what I do, Sal? I, I watch this on replay when I go home and I I take a look at the chat again and I jot everything down. Guys, check out the slice the slice tables here over at Via Roma. Via Roma Pizza Bar. This place is absolutely stunning, guys. Is this place stunning or what? Let's move back a little bit, get a little closer, get a little further back and get a better look at this gorgeous pizzeria here. Never heard of Via Roma. We're going to walk in and uh, talk to the guys and advertise for them and uh, hopefully... Uh, find another place to review. Whoa! Jesus. That guy gave me the side eye too, you notice? <laughs> Let's hope these guys don't inside. I'm advertising for them, so. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm live on YouTube, and they wanted to see your pizza. I'm live on YouTube. <laughs> Free advertising. Oh, that looks juicy. Guys, look how bright that sauce is. A lot of grated cheese, olive oil. Olive oil, right? Yeah. Look at that green olive oil. Yeah, the margarita, exactly. A lot of places don't put fresh olive oil on the pies. He buys it, I know, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm live on YouTube. Just, oh, nice. Yeah. Let's My videos get about 30,000 views a month. Everybody's saying it looks good. <laughs> I may come back. All right, guys. Have a good night. Guys, coming out to Via Roma. Even pizza yeah. Gas oven goodness. Baker's Pride oven, wow. Best ovens in the market. Yeah, the be best gas ovens, right? Yep. The stones are good, that's why. The oven stones, stones are better than they are, you know? Really? The truth, yeah. We got a lot of years. Yeah, take it out, don't worry about it. Nice. Cute place. Got Come. Nice outdoor. Oh, really? Outdoor yeah, seating? Outdoor seating, sorry. Of course. Guys, Via Roma here in Carroll Gardens. Guys, we'll At the slice window. It really is a pretty place. Guys, I may come back and review this tonight. We'll grab another slice, absolutely. The crust was a bit pale, but I think, you know, some places, they take the pies out prematurely because they're meant to be reheated. So even though it looks a little pale on the counter, doesn't mean it's gonna look like that when you, when you eat it. You know what I mean? What brand of cheese? I usually don't do that, uh, Frank. I find it to be intrusive and some people don't wanna give up their recipes, you know? Most do, most, most are glad to give it out, but It does look solid, RBI. Looks like a place that's been here for a while, too. You know? But don't worry, guys. We're going to be eating pizza soon. Don't y'all worry. It's funny. The guy in there, I don't know if you guys heard. One advantage of not having a mic is you can hear other people. Because when I usually have my mic... You only hear me. So I don't know if you guys heard, but that guy in there that was buying the pizza is the guy that sells the place, sells the olive oil to the place. <laughs> that was the olive oil guy. Guys, baby Luke's 
Stay tuned. Look at this beautiful garden over here. At least these buildings have nice, very rare for apartment buildings, you know? They usually don't have all this vegetation, all of these flowers and plants. Pretty. Another freaking Welcome, Uma. Yeah, Uma. Opportunity here. If this place of Guys, Carroll Gardens is known for bad signals. So, uh, a bit better as I move. Guys, Gardens is known for that. It's signal. Yeah, yeah, Uma, I think I'm pronouncing your name wrong. I keep saying Uma Hurst. All right, water break. Guys, for those of you who just joined, check out the shirt. I was really surprised by that pizza. Is the olive oil on it? bright green olive oil on that pizza. You don't see that in a typical slice joint. You see that on Lucali. You get the olive oil at the Farah, right? But you don't see that in a, in a slice shop, puddles of bright green olive oil all over that pizza. That was impressive.
That was impressive, guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had a conversation uh, with you, Uma, last night. I, I figured you were a very educated guy based on our conversation yesterday. Four syllables. Got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or UM, how about UM? Yeah. Or UMass. Guys, let's pass by Lucali one more time. Try to go inside. It says hopefully. What's up, California? Welcome, HBA. Welcome to the stream, Cali. Welcome to Brooklyn. From California to Brooklyn in the click of a button. Gotta love technology, huh? Beautiful brownstones here. And uh, hopefully take a look at some carriage houses. Carriage homes. Carriage homes. Fine wristwatches, in my opinion. <laughs> They're just beautiful. And there's still a lot left out here and they run for about $8 million. No property, tight spaces. Hopefully we'll see some. That just brownstones. Beautiful ones. Uma, uh, I'll jot that down tonight for sure. I will jot that place down. You're a guy from Bensonhurst. I'm sure you got good taste in pizza. I will uh, hold your opinion in high regard, my man. Sal, it's, it's, it's not you, Sal. It's Carol Gardens. To be honest, a lot of live streamers don't stream here. I'm running T-Mobile. It depends on your service too. I'm running T-Mobile. Now, Carroll Gardens is notorious for its bad signals. A lot of landmark buildings here. I don't know why. It's near the water, I have no clue, but it's notorious for bad service. No matter what, you know, no matter what you have, Verizon, I have T-Mobile. It should be good. It should be good right now, I hope. I know it's good in front of the pizzerias, which is important. Nobody complained in front of Baby Luke's. And nobody complained in front of Lucali's. So, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, Uma. It, I, I can see that. I can see that. I'm inclined to agree, my man. It can be a bit overwhelming because, let's face it, olive oil is still grease. And it gets all over your hands. It, you know, it socks into the, it seeps into the dough. You know, it can cause sog. The fire, you got to eat that thing right away. Right away.
guys, I want to just show you St. Stephen's Church. Lots of photographs of this place over the years. I want to get footage that I will include in the beginning of my review video. So uh, this is going to be it, guys. I'm going to slowly pan up. Oh, <laughs> let's try it again. I messed up. There we go. I went too fast the first time. Beautiful church. Hey, not sponsored, I agree. I agree. You wanna make sure you get at least two puddles a slice, you know? Two small little puddles. But most of the time, it's gotta be drizzled on, you know? Drizzle it on and not, uh, you gotta be fast with the drizzle. If you move too slow with the drizzle, it's gonna pull up. All right, Lucali is right around the corner. Wow. Guys, that's the line of people waiting to get a seat at Lucali. This place still draws lines. No matter the day, no matter the weather. We just had a hurricane yesterday. Everybody's still here. How beautiful is it in there, guys? Gorgeous, look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? Guys, was that pretty or what? It was a little dark. You probably didn't see all the stuff on the walls. All the things hanging on the walls and all that memorabilia, old candy shop stuff. It reminded me of a, a little uh, a pizza parlor from the 50s or even older than that, 40s. Shout out to UMass. Uma for the $10 super chat. Everybody thank Uma for that. Uma, seriously, totally appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for that 10 bucks, man. I appreciate the support. It helps, it helps, thank you. Guys, I will be going to Connecticut pretty soon, maybe in a month. So any hotel money is appreciated. <laughs> Hotel money. And gas. And gasoline. My uh, my gas station, my local gas station ran out of uh, gas today. And it, it has been running out of gas for a couple months now. I think maybe people panicked because of the hurricane. And they started to fill their tanks. 
in case in the event that uh, we get swept away again and need to leave leave town. <laughs> I don't know. They ran out of gas. Sorry, I go over the chat replay when I watch the chat, when I re-watch this when I go home, and I jot everything down, man. So I do appreciate the recommendations. And feel free, feel free to repeat comments. I don't see them all sometimes. The comment section will scroll up and I'll miss a few comments. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not ignoring you guys. Here we have La... This is a French place, guys. French restaurant. Lots of beautiful restaurants here in Carroll Gardens. Bar Bruno across the street. Here we have an old bakery. An old deli. I'm starting to think that these awnings, these type of awnings are uh, specific to this neighborhood. That Lucali type old world Brooklyn awning, if you will. Nineteen twenty-eight. Hi. Matchella Bakery. Wow. Oh, Mazzola. What did I say? Mazzola? Is it, is it okay if I take a look inside? I'm, I'm live on YouTube. Cash only. That's a good sign. Cash <laughs> only. Mazzola. Look at this old door. Wow. Whoa. Cookies. Look at those cookies. Look at those cookies. There's music playing. I don't want to get a copyright strike. All right. All right. You're on the right. <laughs> yeah. I could always mute it. Guys, if I had my mic, I would just shut it off. Unfortunately, I forgot my mic today. Ugh. Wow. Oh, wow. This place looks like it's been here for quite a bit. Yes, I am. I'm heading to Baby Luke's. Guys, Baby Luke's. The baby. The, the son and daughter of Luke Holly, guys. I don't know. I got a brief glimpse of the cookies. They look pretty good. They look pretty damn good, I must say. Pharmacies that, that sell sodas. What in the world? Solo, we're going. <laughs> we're going to go eat, baby. This is, this is a, you know, one of those videos, there's not many of them on there. And so everyone's on their edge, on the edge of their seats, waiting to take a glimpse. Jason, what's up, Jason? Are you Columbus, Ohio, if I, if I recall, Jason, correct? Really, Lou? I mean, Lord. Lord, we got a Lord in the house. 
Lord Malin. Greetings, Lord, my Lord. Lord Malin, I did not know that. That is absolutely fascinating, to say the least. Fascinating. <laughs> How do you do, my lord? Speaking of the Lord, nice church ahead of us. Man, they got some old churches in, in Carroll Gardens. I'm assuming Gothic architecture. Judging by the pointy spires. Beautiful overcast sky. Though uh, it was nice to see the sun today, considering. Jimmy, uh, I, I would appreciate any facts regarding that place. I feel, I feel like going back, going inside. Guys, what do you say we go eat? A slice of pizza. Yes, it is, Jason. I could always count on you for that reminder, Jason. <laughs> the night is young. We got pizza to eat. It's one of those places, man, everybody wants to know. People are just starting to hear about this place for the first time. A potential legendary place in the make it. I already had it. Guys, I'm gonna tell you now. Look at that beautiful block. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now. The pizza had issues. Flaws. It was a really difficult pizza to score. You'll find out in the review. It should be up in a day or two. Hey, Ray, what's up, Ray? Welcome to the stream. Look at this place. I'm starting to smell the wacky tobacco. Somebody's smoking up in there. Is this a church? Oh. Nice. Very, very nice. RBI, um, it may be. Uh, I ordered three slices RBI and uh, two were very similar. One of them was slightly more charred and thinner. It's a very artisanal type of Sicilian pizza. Now, you know, it, it can get quirky. It's not a gas oven. I believe it's an electric oven, but the dough is was very light and soft, reminding me of sourdough. And so it's gonna get quirky. Some slices may be thicker than others. I think the corner slices seem to puff up and the side slices were kind of like uh, a little thinner than the corner ones. It was, it was weird, it was pretty odd. I must say RBI. <laughs> I don't know, I'll be, I, you know, he said his plan was to open a pizza shop. Lucali, his original joint, was supposed to be a pizza shop. I mean, a slice shop. He just did not have the space to do it, if that makes sense. Hey, we got a pizzeria. Guys, let's walk into Sal's Pizza. But first, let's take a look at this cigar shop over here. Guys, it ain't Brooklyn unless you got a, an Optimo cigar shop 
a lotto shop on the corner of the neighborhood. It's now Brooklyn without an Optimo. Wow. Guys, guys, check out this pastry shop. What time do they close? I have to buy something in there right now. Absolutely freaking epic. Yes, yeah, Sal, smash that like. Let's go Mets, baby. Guys, is this beautiful or what? Look at this Italian ice sign. Stained glass. I think they're closed. Is it 8 o'clock yet, guys? What time is it? They close at 8. Oh, no, there's the clock right there. It's 7.30. I got to grab something before they close, guys. What should I buy? Some almond cookies? Everybody's thumb. I'm seeing the thumbs up. I'm seeing the thumbs up. Those almond cookies are calling my name. Let's hope there's no music in here. $10 credit card minimum. No music. Yes. Well, I'm definitely getting those almond cookies. Maybe some sesame cookies. I'm live on YouTube if you don't mind. I'll just look at the cookies. Everybody wants to see the cookies anyway. <laughs> How old is this, is this place, by the way? Um, 70 years. Wow. 70 years. Guys, this place is up there. And that's a good thing. I'll take uh, um, the biscotti. Yeah, the almond biscotti, and I'm gonna go with some of these babies here. I'll take two. Hey, there I am. <laughs> Seventy years, a lot of write-ups. <laughs> Hell yeah, so I'm getting them, I'm buying them. Look at the write-ups this place got, guys. This place is famous. And as for the sesame uh, cookies, I'll go with like five of them. Anything else? Ah, that should do it. Oh, uh, yeah, that would help. Yeah, it's just, my hands are pretty full. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me just place this down. <coughs> All righty. Cannolis? I don't see any cannolis. You guys don't have cannolis, do you? Yeah, we do. Oh, really? Yeah, we have one there. And they have cassava, too. I'll take a cannoli. Okay. Guys, cannolis. That is a thing of beauty. And the cassata. Look at the cassata. That, that looks straight out of Catania right there. Straight out of Palermo. <laughs> All right. So that's uh, $7.90. $7.90. Not bad. Good prices. That should be eight. Thank you. Thank you. What? Thanks, guys, for all the hard work. You too. By the way, pizza reviews on the go is the channel. Okay, thank you. <laughs> We got some cookies, some cannolis. Nice kids inside. Always thank them for their hard work, guys. This is work that people don't want to do anymore. Everybody wants to go to school and sit in front of a computer. 
Nobody wants to stay on their feet all day rolling out dough and cooking tomato sauce. You know what I mean? So I always thank people who work in places like this for their hard work. Even though I'm sure she wasn't the baker. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that little, uh, that little scene. Yeah. Yeah, solo. It, sometimes if the music's low, it may not catch it. Plus, I was doing a lot of talking. Chances are it may result in a copyright claim, uh, which isn't a big deal. I could just mute the sound in post-production. Guys, you know you're in Brooklyn? You know you're in front of a Brooklyn pizzeria when you have the quarter machines? The quarter rides. <laughs> What's that? I have a cane pipe action. All right. You know, can I just, can I get a pepperoni, please? I'll try one of the chickens. I think it's called Sal's. Sal's pizza, I believe. It, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, guys. Oh, a brick oven as well. Do you guys make brick oven pizza as well? Wow. Like Neapolitans? That one right there. See the more area? It's in showcase. The one with the base on it. Okay. That's the brick oven, guys. Everybody, come on down. Oh, that's the plain cheese. Looks beautiful. I like it. Nice and charred. The cheese is nice and charred. Very pretty. Cheese spread to the edge. Look at that. Love it. Solo, not the fresh one solo. The fresh one is beautiful. Look at this thing of beauty right here. A lot of love goes into this pizza, guys. A lot of love. Arancini. It's called uh, Sal's. Uh, Uma. Nice place, friendly people. All right, guys, let's go eat, baby. We're gonna eat outside and we're gonna get a first look or a second look, I should say. There are some YouTube videos circulating regarding baby Luke's. Uh, not many though. Yeah, very quintessential New York solo. Very quintessential. Above average for sure. Wow. Caputo's Bake Shop. Must be closed for the day. There's, there's cookies everywhere. They're closed for the day. A lot of bakeries close at like four o'clock. Guys, that place was beautiful.
wind is picking up, so is the anticipation. RBI, solid RBI, yeah. Seven, seven, three, seven, four. Good New York pizza, good cheese it looked like. Looked all right, you know, nothing extraordinary. Still delicious, still delicious. Nonetheless, I think we're a few blocks away, guys. Oh, look at this place. They're eating pizza. Ino Deca on court. Vino Pizza Formaggi. Ino Deca on court. Vino Pizza e Formaggi. Guys, we got baby Lucali to visit. The wind is picking up. And so is the drama. I thought we were just a few blocks away. We're not. More like a couple blocks away. Damn, it got dark fast. Caputo, really? I know Caputo flowers, you know. That's the best of the best, Caputo flour. I don't know if there if there's a link between Caputo flour and that bakery. Perhaps something to Google later and research. Caputo flour is uh, those guys are so strict. They want no excuses, man. They want quality products. Oh, it's not Sal. All right. I guess I won't be Googling anything tonight. <laughs> okay, Lucali's right up the street, guys. We're gonna go in. Uh, Guys, now the pizza has been sitting in my car for a bit, but you will get to see the pizza nice and hot in my review in about a day or two, depending on how much time I spend on Instagram and get to work and chop up some video. But uh, two days the most, the review will be up. The pizza is a bit flawed. And you're gonna see why. You guys are gonna get to rate it with your own eyes in a few seconds. There it is, less people, we're gonna sit down and eat. We get a water break, grab the pizza, and let's go eat, ladies and gents. Solo. If you if you don't want to watch the live reviews, you, you don't really have to. Just watch my regular reviews, my pizza reviews. I meant to say my live streams. Live streams are a way for me to gain subscribers. I find that they really help me gain subscribers. Uh, you go to the top of the YouTube list when you're live. It's also a way for me to get acquainted with. Uh, 
my followers and, you know, enjoy a night out, a nice walk, relax, talk, and also highlight local businesses, guys. Promote, get a look at pizza, get a look at bakeries, look at the food. Uh, so you don't have to watch the live streams. You could always skip past them. Uh, but live streams, I don't just eat on them. It's all about the adventure and discovery, baby. Let's go. Andiamo a mangiare. Sal, that's really nice of you to offer. I'm not sure where it is. I'm not sure where that is, Sal. If you're in the neighborhood, hey, come say hi. I'm right here, baby, at Baby Luke's. Baby Luke's, everybody, Baby Luke's. Beautiful patio here. Nicely lit. Guys, drum roll. Ready? It's -a me, Mario. <laughs> Solo, ain't no thugs here, Solo, ain't no thugs here. Family, families. Guys, the pizza's been sitting, it's a, you know, it's, it's a bit cool, but you're getting a good look at it. You'll get a better look at it during the review in a couple of days. Hopefully one or two. Guys, what do you think of this pizza here? Well, oh, I forgot my sanitizer. Very light, but check this out, guys. A bit pale underneath. A little pale. So pale that we, uh, that I had to move it down the scale a bit. Okay, Pop, it's been sitting. Watch my review in a couple days, K Pop. But uh, regardless of that, K-pop, it was dry right out of the oven as well. Undersourced.
had some issues with it, guys. Not only on the sauce, but it could use more cheese, too. Andrew, the sauce tastes good. There's just not enough on it. <laughs> Sandy, in Florida, this is a, a nine and a half. Sorry, the lighting is a little, you know, got dark so fast. I miscalculated the, uh, the time. Very pale. Hey, Pop, I was. Unfortunately. You guys are gonna enjoy the review. I think I was really happy with it. I think I explained this. I explained why it could be better. I wish Mark was here. I'd, I'd like to have a talk with him. <laughs> Marky! Hey, Mark! I'm sure he, I mean, I, I don't know. Um, I'll just say this, it's pretty unique. I can't compare it to anything. Very light. Yeah, well said, our pop. I agree. I totally agree, man. It does.
feel like going up to everyone and asking them for a score. <laughs> Guys, I feel like going up to people and asking them for a number. What do you rate it? <laughs> RBI. That is true. I was thinking the same thing. Because I, I, I feel like the potential is there. Because the ingredients are good. The sauce was absolutely delicious. It was very similar to the sauce he uses over at Lucali. It reminded me of it. Lots of nice shaved hard cheese. Mozzarella, nothing crazy. Low moisture cheese. A good solid grandma slice. And of course the crust is what's important. Uh, the, the crust needs to be cooked. A lot more than that. A lot more. I, I just don't know what's going on. Maybe, maybe his staff is not properly trained. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I just... Yeah, K-pop. Yep. Absolutely. <clears throat> they serve Negroni in there, too, in bottles. Some people drinking them right now. Talk over the music, everybody. So, uh, guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Got to see the bakery. Got to see Lucali. Got to see some pizza. I may go review another pizza right now. I may go do that place, Sal's. As a matter of fact, I think I will. Uh, again, all my reviews are pre-recorded, guys. Solo, exactly solo. Very difficult pizza to score because if this thing, like I feel like it could be improved. You know, I don't know what's going on. Maybe he opened too soon, maybe the place Maybe the, the, the staff isn't properly trained. No idea. And the recipe may change or the, the pizza overall just may change in the future. But like RBI said, uh, you know, that initial impression may set a, re a reputation that will last uh, for quite some time. Uh, I don't know guys look it was nice to visit will i order the pizza again i can't say i will uh it, it's you know unless hey if it improves it improves guys right and you always got lucali down the street so uh yeah it is what it is I think the pizza is going to change because people are starting to talk. I know he got good reviews on the One Bite app. Uh, everybody's dropping eights and nines on One Bite, but uh, on Yelp, people are really slamming it. But hey, go go check it out for yourself, guys. Don't you know? Don't take my word. I mean, you guys saw it. You can judge it based on looks. But go try it. You got to taste it. Sauce was excellent. The dough tasted sour, like sourdough bread. You may love that. I do. 
it just needs to be crispier. Because even hot, when I ate, you'll see in my review, even hot, that pizza was not crispy. Anyways, guys, uh, for a more uh, comprehensive review, check out the review in a couple days. I'm gonna go eat more pizza. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead back down to Sal's and review it. And uh, I, hope you, I hope you enjoyed the tour, guys. Beautiful Carroll Gardens, Brooklyn here before us. Uh, I want to thank everybody again for the support. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the, the channel. And the live streams as well. Most do. Most do. Again, the live streams, guys, I do this to explore, discover pizza, advertise for them, have a nice little chat with the audience, with, the, with my followers, and uh, discover new places to eat and get to know each other and hopefully transport you to these neighborhoods. So, uh, yeah, Uma. Uh, I definitely do remember F&F. &F. And I may take a look at it. I'm going to punch it into my GPS. I'm going to take a look at the Yelp reviews and the pizza. Maybe look at some photos of it. And uh, maybe I'll do F&F &F instead of Sal's. Uh, so thank you, Uma, for the recommendation and your donation earlier. Totally appreciate it, man. And, uh... And the story of Baby Luke's is being told, folks. So, uh, thanks, Sal. I appreciate it. Enjoy the feast. One more slice, Lawrence. I got one. I got room for one more. <laughs> There's always room for a third, Lawrence. There's always room for a third slice, in my stomach, at least. In my big ass stomach. <laughs> Solo, it's been real. It's been it's been nice chatting with you and getting to know you. It's the first time I've seen you on the stream, Solo. Sorry you were getting... I know everybody was getting impatient before. It is baby Luke's after all, and everybody was on the edge of their seat. Sorry for the lack of uh, me. Look who just joined. SK, what did you miss? You're lucky you missed it because you would have fell off your seat. You would have been on the edge of that seat. You would have fell off. So I saved you a fall, SK. <laughs> I saved you a bump in the behind. Everyone was on the edge of their seat, SK. You missed baby Luke's. There it is. I, I, I texted you the picture earlier. SK is my paisano from uh, San Diego. Pizza connoisseur. I was eating. I was on. I was on the table there eating. <laughs> Solo. I want to do Staten Island. I planned out a walk because I plot out my walks. I take notes. I'm, these, these streams drive me crazy. I take notes. No, we're representing, uh, li uh, highlighting local businesses and restaurants. Yep. I'm telling you, the people out here. You know, in Carroll Gardens, they don't like cameras. Guy's like, what are you doing? You making movies? I said, you know, I, I answered. He goes, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Guys, uh, some people were nice, you know, they were letting me in and stuff. A lot of people don't like cameras out here. Anyways, guys, uh, SK, you, you can watch it on replay, man. You can watch it all on replay. SK, I, I, I bought some cannolis, cookies, went to an old bakery, 70 years old. Got a look at a couple pizzerias, I think maybe four altogether, including Lucali around the block. Uma, absolutely. Are you kidding? I'm... Um.
I'm going back to Bensonhurst eventually, Bay Ridge, that whole, that whole area. But, you know, I want to split it up. I don't want to go to Bay Ridge three weeks in a row, you know? Yeah, you're going to like this one, SK. This one you're going to enjoy. I walked into Lakali. Uh, I ate this here on the air. Though, you know, it was a little dark. You'll get a better view of it uh, during the review, which I'll post in a day or two. Solo, I don't know why your name escapes me, man. I, I, I don't recognize the name. Anyway, 26 people in the room. Oh. Also, check this place out. SK, I met the owner of this place. A Brooklyn bread shop. And uh, it's absolutely uh, beautiful in there. Sandy, thank you as well. K pop, appreciate the recommendation. The list is long, K-pop. The list is long. I, I think I may have heard of your name, Solo. Now I remember, I think. Guys, the list is long. Only so much time in a day and only so much pizza to eat in a day. Eddie, I want to thank Eddie for his generous contributions. Eddie, I'm just happy you're enjoying them and getting your money's worth. And again... Uh, Hotel money, guys. <laughs> Hotel and gas money. I'm going to go and do uh, the new Sally's when it opens up in two weeks. But when the weather gets nicer, I'm going to take a trip to Connecticut. Uh, the Sally's is opening up. I'm going to do that real fast. Thank you, Eddie. So be well, guys. Keep those bellies full. Until next time, this is Antonio live at Baby Luke's. I was live. Signing off. Be well, all.